petty traders and hawkers in the bustling streets of the city have raised their voices in protest against the alleged recklessness of tax force officials. Speaking with top accolades, they recounted harrowing tales of their goods being wantonly destroyed by members of the tax force, leaving them devastated and economically crippled. Even though people say, I get one eye on where they put here, have my things, so that's what can carry and say. Through our ties, the way they carry, they come at times as if they pursue, they are active when they pursue. They go come like this at times, like 12 van, where they go carry and enter here. And here and now, they start to push me with it. Here and now, be major road where they supposed to come disturb us, here then they come. If they see many people be saying, now, they carry, they come manage life, not be all of us go feed pay shop. They go come, scatter our things, throw away. The other day, now one woman bag of garden, they carry throw away, point for grand. Imagine bag of garden now, how much? About 36,000 naira. They throw away, I'm not saying they do us for a year. Upon say things cost. Now they will pack pack table, they carry carry table every minute. They jack table, they pay money. This one go come, we go pay 500. This one go come, 1,000. They jack jack table. According to the aggrieved traders, the actions of these officials, purportedly driven by frustration and a desire to extort money, have resulted in the destruction of goods worth thousands of naira. They lamented the loss of their hard earned merchandise to senseless acts of vandalism with no justification provided by the tax force. Many traders expressed suspicion that some members of the tax force were nothing more than tout. The first time when they come, they say, so far as I say, they, you know, pass the gutter. Say they don't go pursue us. But now, as I talk to you now, if they just come, even if they say at the gate, imagine at the gate where would they stay there, if they go see come, throw away our things. They go carry us, as if now, no understand them. All these, like, all these cultists, they don't even they do like saying government people say. They go carry us, they tear a uh, table, carry a hammer. They do, in fact, they even ready to fight yourself. Exporting their position to unleash havoc on unsuspecting vendors, they implored the government to exercise greater scrutiny in the recruitment process for tax force personnel, calling for measures to weed out some elements from their ranks. One thing, one thing, because when they come, the way they carry come, when they see some people where they do threat, then they will just obey. If they do do, they will call us for one corner side. Tell us when, maybe when they got our market to go, we use money to pay the market back. People don't come up for the mayor now, a corner where they day. They don't even they day for their own gates. Yet, they go come. Even you, where get shop safe, they go still come, scatter your things, say you keep them for the front of your shop. Could you imagine? For inside those people where they there are, someday we be saying, I will just money matter. That's why we make them they come. Many of them are borrowed and be. The way that they carry axe for here, they fling axe. They don't understand where all these cultists they fight. That's what they carry axe for here. They go carry axe, carry a hammer. They, they do like that. They, they do like that in a fight. What would they fight? So you're not supposed to be like that. The economic downturn they explained had taken a heavy toll on their businesses with dwindling sales and rising costs squeezing their livelihoods. As they struggled to make ends meet amidst the harsh economic climate, they urged the government to consider measures to elevate their financial burdens and support their businesses. Furthermore, road traders beseeched the government to provide assistance in the form of grants to enable them to transition from street vending to more formalized retail operations. Access to funding, they argued, would empower them to rent shops and establish legitimate businesses, thereby reducing the risks associated with roadside trading and enhancing their prospects for sustainable income generation. In their collective plea for justice and economic relief, the traders called upon the government to heed their cries and take decisive action to address their grievance. They expressed hope that by addressing the root causes of their challenges, the government would pave the way for a brighter future for all petty traders and hawkers striving to make a living in challenging circumstances. As we day like this now, if government like other countries them, people like us will be say we will not get money to go to a higher big shop. They go give us money. The guys will be saying go do now, carry us, do us well. Not be to the come pursue us, treat us like say we be animal. Not be everybody get money to go find big place. At least men and they help us. If not so much, not be only uh, election time where we say they go carry rice, come, carry money, give. Because that thing said every day make people like me to even go vote safe at the fear. Because even when you go vote finish, eh? Me now nah, never one day collect money when they vote inside they go uh, vote for person. You don't understand? 
But when even when you vote finish, the person go preach, 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 I go do this, I go do that. When they when they enter the city, they don't even they look us again. Uh -huh. So we be for Jack Rich reporting from Top Accolade News.